Hi guys, Thomas here with a little update from the road after a couple of weeks of cycling. And I'm standing here on top of the hill in a place called Kung Chiam. And it's a wonderful place, but there is something special about it. Because the river that you see in the back is called the Mekong River. Which comes together with another river, which is called Me Nam Mung. And both, give, both rivers have a different color. And that's why the river that offsprings here is called the Two-Colored River. Well, and apart from that phenomenal thing, it's just an amazing place to, to enjoy the splendid views over, over the city. And that's why I've chosen this place to start off my update, obviously from Bangkok onwards. Um, in Bangkok I've met uh, a wonderful fella called uh, Fabrizio, obviously from, uh, from Italy, but living in London. We shared a couple of beers and he found it a real cool idea to cycle along with me towards uh, Ayutthaya. And in Ayutthaya I've been visiting uh, Elephant's Day, which is a wonderful organization that provides the um, volunteers or visitors with the unique opportunity to bond with and take care of an elephant which is an amazing experience um, which I witnessed with um, uh, Jenny and Jenny is a frequent visitor of Elephant's Day and she uh, told me the story of, uh, of Long Sap which is uh, an elephant that she took care of in the first place and she really built up uh, an emotional connection with this animal um, that's why, uh, that's, that's why I learned that um, elephants are really complex and intelligent uh, beings and need special treatment to, to, to have a good life like humans do. And that's what they take care of in uh, Elephant Stay. And if you have the opportunity to visit Elephant Stay in Ayutthaya, you definitely should do. You can pass by as a visitor, but the best thing is to get involved uh, a couple of days in their program which they offer. Well, after uh, Ayutthaya, I went to a place called Korat, where I've met um, a very unique uh, personality. Um, she's called Chancha, and she's riding her bicycle, basically in vintage clothing, to uh, to draw attention for um, for the um, for the bicycle itself, to promote the bicycle, and to show people that you can ride a bicycle. Um, and dress up uh, for the destination rather than for the bike. I've come across so many people that are uh, wearing, like like me, the the very the very uh, sportive clothing to ride their bicycles and ride this this perfect shiny splendid nice bikes. But I barely see any people that just dress up casually and uh, well actually dress for the destination. And that's what Chancha um, proved to me that, that it should be it should be more a casual way uh, to move around in Thailand to, to use a bicycle and not only for sports or as a very very cheap form of transport because that that's another thing I've seen around here. Well, we, um, we had a good conversation. Um, I uh, of course I shared her story on my website, and um, in the end, of course. Uh, I uh, took the opportunity to uh, to also uh, cycle around in vintage clothing, so check out the blog post to uh, to see a bit of uh, proof about that wonderful experience there. Well, after Korat, I've been cycling through the area of Buri Ram, and Buri Ram province is known for the unique Khmer style temple structures, of which I've been visiting two distinctive ones. The first being Wat Pimai car passing by and the other one being um, Panom Rung and the ladder uh, is really really interesting I recommend to everybody to to visit this temple because it actually stood example for the um, Angkor Wat structure in Cambodia and it makes sense to me because it's impressive it's built on the uh, top of an old volcano um, and well just check it out it's really really nice after my wonderful stay there in Buri Ram I went to um, uh, a temple where um, a cycling monk is actually living and I had the luck to find him at this temple because he's often out on big cycling trips as big as 4,000 kilometers he mentioned 
and um, I had a wonderful stay at this temple grounds and got a unique opportunity again to cycle along with him and a couple of kids that follows after. Look at this. Yeah, we were riding our bikes on uh, the temple grounds and he was really eager to ride my tandem bicycle and I was really eager to ride his bike after a couple of weeks riding only tandem bicycle. Um, but the most interesting thing is what you just saw in the very short video. It's that the kids would directly follow the monk when he was out on his bicycle. They would follow him and riding their bikes and that's actually in a nutshell the story about this monk. He is inspiring Thai people to get out on the bike in their ordinary clothes, just dressing for the occasion where they are going. And that's um, part of the article that I wrote about this monk. Also included in that article are his, are his four rules that he has for life. And I think those are interesting for any of us. So check out his story as well. After the inspiring stay with the monk, I decided to head for Sisaket, a place 230 kilometers away from the temple grounds. And well, I like to ride the highways, but they are full of big trucks, full of smog, diesel exhaust, and well, dirt. Dirt is everywhere, so I decided to take some shortcuts. And well, the, the shortcuts, the roads aren't that good. This road actually reminds me of it. It's really tough to cycle, but it gives you a lot of beautiful scenery in return. And I will try to, to give a short impression of the beautiful scenery that I saw on the way. Here we go. Well, I hope you did enjoy the scenery as much as I did on the road and uh, I hope it gave a good impression as well, the things I see on the way. Um, in the meantime, I, uh, I traveled to Ubon city, which is a city, uh, the biggest city in the eastern part of Thailand and uh, I'm here in this wonderful park with the big statue and uh, I just came back from another trip to a national park, which is the most eastern national park within Thailand. And I taped uh, a nice video to give you an, another impression on, um, on the things I've seen there. And that will be the closing part of this video update. So stay tuned, visit my website onebike2stories.com for more updates. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. I'm walking in Patam National Park today, which is situated about 100 kilometers east of Ubon City. And it's mostly known for these beautiful views on the most eastern part of Thailand. Because there on the right comes the Mekong River which splits Thailand from Laos at the opposite side. And look at the views. Decide for yourself, but I really find this stunning.